Welcome back YouTube. I did a Lens Island combat guide a while back when I was fairly fresh to the game and haven't gotten around to doing a guide on how to beat the Void Boar until now. I'll go through some pre-fight tips as well as what to do in the fight to help you defeat the Void Boar and earn your Forge pickaxe. But before we get into everything, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So starting off, let's talk about what sort of loadout you're going to want to have prior to fighting the boss. You'll notice that I've got a fully upgraded backpack with a number of slots. While this is helpful, it's definitely not necessary. You really only need roughly four slots, one for your weapon, one for your shield, and two open slots for grapes. If you're using a two-handed weapon, then you can substitute the shield for more grapes. While I've already covered it in another video where I take a look at which food heals you most efficiently, but you can either use bread or grapes here. Personally, I use grapes because they involve a lot less effort and grapes do not require the windmill. For hunger, use watermelon, but I don't keep that one on my slots though because you can just swap it out before you enter the fight and you're not taking up an extra space. Now let's talk weapons. You've got many options regarding what type of weapon you can use from swords to axes to spears to hammers to even bananas on a stick. For example, your swords will have a faster attack speeds and lower damage than your heavier weapons like the hammer. Just choose whichever weapon type you like the most and fits your playstyle. Personally, and I know I'm going to butcher the name, but I'm using the Shaxian sword class weapon that you get from the exotic weapon line. Shields are similar to weapons as in there's different varieties that you can use to fit your playstyle. If you're a more nimble player, for example, and prefer dodging attacks rather than blocking, then grab a shield that doesn't reduce your movement speed by as much as the others. And vice versa if you're more of a tanky player that likes to block. The two main blocking stats are passive and active. Passive is the percent of damage negated just for holding the shield in your offhand, while active is the percent damage negated for physically blocking attacks. Personally, I mainly dodge, so I go for the more passive block stat plus limited mobility reduction, which is why I choose the Golden Norse Shield, as it's got a great balance. By now, you're hopefully geared up and ready for the fight. The way I approach the fight is basically goad him into attacking, then roll in and get a couple hits in, then roll out, and hopefully not taking any damage. You can really break his fight down into two phases. The first phase is relatively simple, as he only has physical attacks. Once you get him down to about 70% health, he'll go into his second phase, which gets him electrically charged. He's got two main electrified attacks during the second phase. The first is Lightning Stomp, that sends circles of electricity outward, and the second is Lightning Breath, which he opens his mouth and blasts electricity towards you. Lightning Stomp doesn't do a lot of damage, but he will spam this attack the majority of the fight, and it can quickly whittle your health down if you're not paying attention. Just jump or roll over the rings and continue carefully fighting him, just like in phase one. So with the lightning breath attack, I could not get him to do this attack when I made this video. I ran around for like 5 minutes trying to goad him into attacking me with his lightning breath, but I could not get him to at all. Not sure if it's a bug or what's going on with that, but, but usually what happens is when you run away to heal up or take a breath, he'll open his mouth and blast deadly electricity at you. If you get caught in the blast, you will quickly die if you do not roll out. A similar strategy that I use when I play Elden Ring or Dark Souls games in general it's just to learn the boss's mechanics and get good at dodging his attack, so if you're struggling even still, you may want to try that, and then once you feel comfortable, give him another go. And hopefully without too many deaths, you'll defeat the beast and claim your forge pickaxe. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments or want me to expand upon maybe the combat or certain combat tips, please drop in the comment section below. As always, see you next time, YouTube.